Welcome everyone to 10 minutes math. This is EDXL October June 2020 Mathematics Statics S1 WSCT 0101. Now the distance random variable x take, takes the value minus 1, 2, 3, 4 and 7 only. Given that v of big x is equal to small x 8 equal to 8 minus x divided by k where x equal to minus 1, 2, 3, 4, and 7. Find the value of e. So this is the value of x. We need the probability of x. So 8 minus minus 1. So 8 plus 1 equal to 9 divided by k. So here we have 9 over k. 9 over k. And here we have 8 minus 2 is equal to 6. So 6 over k. And then 3. 8 minus 3, 5. 5 over k. And then 4, 8 minus 4 equal to 4, 4 over k. And then 7, 1 over k, 8 minus 7, 1 over k. So you know that the probability, the summation of the whole, everything, 9 over k plus 6 over k plus 5 over k plus 4 over k plus 1 over k, all of this equal to 1. So let us bring our calculator. We have now 9 plus 6 plus 5 plus 4 plus 1. So 25 over k, 25 over k equal to 1. Let us now make cross multiplier. So k is equal to 25. k equal to 25. Okay. Now he need e of x, e of x equal to now minus 1 multiplier by 9 over k minus 1 multiplier by 9 over k 2 multiplier by plus 2 multiplier by 6 over k plus 3 multiplier by 5 over k 3 multiplier by 5 over k plus 4 multiplied by 4 over k 4 multiplier by 4 over k plus 7 multiplier by 1 over k, plus 7 multiplier by 1 over k. So it's equal to over k. Let us now find this value. Minus 9 plus 2 multiplier by 6, plus 3 multiplier by 5, plus 7, plus 4, 4 multiplier by 4. 4 multiplier by 4. So it's equal to 41 divided by k. So e of x equal to 41 divided by 25. And this is the answer of this question. Okay, let us go ahead to another question. Now, in a school, Canteen students can choose from main courses of meat, fish, or vegetables. They can then choose drink of either water or juice. The partially completed tree diagram where B and Q are probabilities shows the probability of these choices for the randomly selected student. Let us start. So the total probability here must be 1, so we have 0 0.4 plus 0 0.35, so it's 0 0.75, so the remaining is 0 0.25. Here B, 1 minus B, here Q, 1 minus Q, here 0 0.4, the remaining is 0 0.6. Okay, so now A, complete the tree diagram, giving you answer in terms of B, Find the expression in terms of B and Q for the probability that random selected student choose water to drink. So the people who you choose water to drink, let us find this probability. So this is part B. Probability of water. So we have meat and then water. So probability of water equal to 0 0.04 0 0.4 multiplied by b plus now fish and water so 0 
3, 5 multiplied by Q plus the last one vegetables and water which is 0 0.25 multiplied by 0 0.4 so probability of water is equal to 0 0.4 B plus 0 0.35 Q plus let us find this answer 0 0.25 by 0.4 so equal to 0 0.1 and this is the answer of this part okay let us go ahead to another part now the event choosing a vegetable's main course and choosing water to drink are independent find the linear equation in term of b and q so vegetarians course and water drink are independent so let us start now vegetarian and water are independent mean probability of vegetarian intersected with water is equal to probability of water multiplied by probability of vegetarian okay this is the independent equation so now probability of vegetarian intersected with water was this one vegetarian and water so 0 0.25 multiplied by 0 0.4 is equal to probability of water we already calculated up which is 0 0.4 B plus 0 0.35 Q plus 0 0.1 multiplied by the probability of vegetarian is this one 0 0.25 right so now let us continue here we have 0 0.1 will equal to 0 0.4 B plus 0 0.35 Q plus 0 0.1 all of them multiplied by 0 0.25 let us divide it by 0 0.25 so we will have 0 0.1 divided by 0 0.25 which is equal to 2 over 5 which is 0 0.4 so let us divide 0 0.25 here 0 0.25 so remaining 0 0.4 will equal to 0 0.4 B plus 0 0.35 Q plus 0 0.1 so let us bring 0 0.1 to on this side so 0 0.3 is equal to 0 0.4 B plus 0 0.35 Q and this is the answer of this question okay let us go ahead to another part now a student who has chosen juice to drink in the in, is selected at random the probability that they choose fish for their main course is 7 over 30 find the value of P and the Q and the value of Q let us start now the probability now he asks here for the probability of fish given juice which is equal to the probability of fish intersected with juice divided by the probability of juice now this is equal to 7 over 30 which is equal to probability of fish intersected with juice which is this one so 0 0.35 and then 1 minus q okay now the probability of juice probability of juice divided by probability of juice let us find probability of juice so probability of juice probability of juice equal to 0 0.4 multiplied by 1 minus q so 0 0.4 multiplied by 1 minus b sorry 1 minus b okay now 0 plus 0 0.35 multiplied by 1 minus q plus 0 0.25 multiplied by 0 0.6 so now it's equal to 0 0.4 minus 0 0.4 b plus 0 0.35 minus 0 0.35 q 
plus 0.25 multiplied by 0.6. So it's equal to minus 0.4b minus 0.35q. Now plus, let us bring our calculator, 0 0.4 plus 0 0.35 plus 0 0.25 by 0.6. So we have 0 0.9. Okay, now 7 over 30 will equal to 0 0.35 multiplied by 1 minus q divided by minus 0 0.4b minus 0 0.35q plus 0 0.9 okay now 7 7 by minus 0 0.4b minus 7 multiplied by 0 0.35q plus 7 by 0 0.9 would equal to 30 by 0 0.35 1 minus q so from here minus 2.8 b minus 7 by 0 0.35 so minus 2.45 2.45 or 5q plus 7 pi 7 pi point 9 will equal to 6.3 6.3 was equal to 30 pi point 35 is equal to 10.5 10.5 minus 10.5q so we will have minus 2.8b let us bring this this side and this this side so it will be minus 2.45q plus 10.5q will equal to 10.5 minus 6.3 so the equation will be minus 2.8b now here we have 10.5 minus 2.45 so it's equal to 8.05 so plus 8.05q will equal to 10.5 minus 6.3 so it's equal to 4.2 4.2 and this is the second equation the first equation we have is this one here this is the first equation okay so let us write this equation down so 0 0.4 b plus 0.35q equal to 0 0.3 and this is equation number one which you, we bring from up so let us bring our calculator menu alphabet a and then one and then two now we have minus 2.8 equal and then 8.05 equal and then 4.2 equal and then 0 0.4 equal and then 0 0.35 equal and then 0 0.3 equal now b is equal to 0 0.225 so b will equal to 0 0.225 and q equal to 0.6 and this is the answer of this question okay let us go ahead to another part now 
The canteen, the canteen manager claims that students who choose water to drink are most likely to choose fish main course. State choosing your working clearly whether or not the manager's claim is correct. So let us start. Now this is part E. So we need to find the probability of fish given water if it's bigger than 0 0.5 so the manager is correct okay so the probability of fish given water is equal to the probability again of fish intersected with water divided by the probability of water okay now we have b equal to 0 0.225 and the Q equal to 0 0.6 so the probability of fish given water is equal to fish intersected with water this is fish and this is water so 0 0.35 multiplied by 0 0.6 probability of water we have 0 0.4 multiplied by 0 0.4 multiplied by 0. 2 to 5 plus now 0 0.35 multiplied by 0 0.35 multiplied by 0 0.6 plus 0 0.25 multiplied by 0 0.4 which is 0 0.1 so this probability is equal to now we have 0 0.35 0 0.35 by 0 0.6 divided by 0 0.4 by 0 0.225 plus 0 0.35 by 0 0.6 plus 0 0.1 so it's equal to 0 0.525 0 0.525 bigger than 0 0.5 so manager is correct okay let us go ahead to another question now the distance achieved in long jump comp competitions by student at school is normally distribution with the mean equal to 3.8 so this is mu meter and the standard deviation 0 0.9 this is sigma a student who achieves his distance greater than 4.3 meter receive a, a medal now find probability of the student who receive a medals all the people bigger than 4.3 so let us start so let us start and we will use your calculator so mu is equal to according to the question this is 3.8 standard deviation is equal to 0 0.9 this is 4.3 he needs all the value bigger than 4.3 so we know z equal to x minus mu divided by sigma so z equal to now x is 4.3 minus 3.8 divided by sigma which is 0 0.9 probability of x bigger than 4.3 was equal to use your calculator the upper value here is infinity which is 1 e 99 and then sigma is 0 0.9 and then mu is 3.8 so the probability is 0 0.289 0 0.289 and this is the answer of the question you need to give him this step okay let us go ahead now the school wishes to give a certificate of achievement or medals to the 
80% of the students who achieve distance of at least d meter find the value of d so this is a situation of part b we have area which is uh, here this is distance d and this is the area here 0 0.8 okay so the first step we need z z from the calculator we need to use this area which is what 0 0.2 so 0 0.2 is the area that we use in your calculator okay so follow me please so now 0 0.2 is the area we use in your calculator so to find z using your calculator follow the step now menu 7 and then inverse normal which is 3 now the area is 0 0.2 standard deviation is 1 and the main is 0 equal equal so the z now is minus 0 0.8416 so z is equal to minus 0 0.8416 we know that d minus mu divided by sigma is equal to z minus 0 0.8416 to find the d direct d now again from your calculator what is the step menu 7 again inverse 3 now the area is 0 0.2 and then the standard deviation we have 0 0.9 and then the main 3.8 so now distance is 3.0 equal to 3.04 and this is the answer of the question using your calculator but we must give him the, this step okay to get the full mark okay let us go ahead to another part now of those who received the medal the one of our three who jumped the fourthest will receive gold medals find the shortest distance g meter that must achieve to receive a gold medal let us start now for part C we know that from part 1 the, the people who uh, who get the medal the people who pass the distance 4.3 so the, for distance 4.3 the probability is 0 0.289 now he said that the probability of distance bigger than G would equal to 1 over 3 multiplied by this probability to achieve the gold to achieve the gold medal so probability of d bigger than g is equal to now menu 1 0 0.289 divided by 3 so it's equal to 0 0.0096 963 so let us draw now so we understand which z we will use and how we use our calculator so this is the situation so here is z and here this area is 0 0.0963 and the calculator will look all the time in this area so this area now is equal to 1 minus 0 0.0963 so it's equal to 0 0.90 0 0.9037 okay this is this area okay so let us now find z z value is equal to bring your calculator again so menu and then 7 and then inverse normal which is 3 now the area is 0 0.9037 standard deviation 1 mu 0 so z is equal to 1.3029 now z will equal to g minus mu divided by sigma 
sigma is 0 0.9 and the mu here is 3.8 so g will equal to use your calculator again so again the same equation but here instead of 1 0 0.9 and here for mu 3.8 remember to give him the step now 4.973 4.973 so g is equal to 4.97 okay this is the answer of this question okay let us go ahead to another one now a journalist from the local newspaper in interviews a randomly selected group of three models Medals winners find the exact probability that the, uh, there is at least one gold medals winner in the group. So this is part E. We know that probability of no gold medal is equal to 2 over 3 power 3. So now probability of at least one gold medal is equal to one minus two over three cubed so it's equal to let us find this part so one one minus two over three cubed So 19 over 27, 19 over 27 and this is the answer of this question.